is in the form of sin theta by theta that is limit sin theta by theta as a theta tends to 0 value is always equal to 1 0 by 2 is 0 sin 0 is 0 so it is 1 into 0 whose value is 0 so here if you apply the limit separately x and x cancels x and x cancel this is of the form sin theta by theta Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. This is your Shruti ma'am lecturing in Vidyashram, the temple of excellence, Mysuru. So in our previous session, we have learned how to solve the trigonometric limits. That is how to apply the limits for a trigonometric function. In today's session, we will evaluate few more functions that is trigonometric function and apply the limits for it. So first problem is limit of the function cot theta by pi by 2 minus theta where theta tends to pi by 2. If you apply pi by 2 here, the function becomes 0 by 0 form. So what I'll do here is let me take theta is equal to pi by 2 plus h. Let theta is equal to pi by 2 plus h where h is some angle. Now let me substitute here the equation or the function becomes so theta tends to pi by 2 here. So cot pi by 2 plus h whole divided by pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus h. So because we have replaced theta with pi by 2 plus h. Now here whenever theta is replaced with which we cannot write theta tends to pi by 2. You can see here if theta is equal to pi by 2 then h tends to 0. So instead of this here we have to write h tends to 0 because theta is replaced with h value. So we have to write this like limit h tends to 0 cot pi by 2 plus h divided by pi by 2 minus pi by 2 plus h. Now let us solve this first. What is cot pi by 2 plus h? It is minus tan h. So allied angle property limit h tends to 0. This is minus tan h divided by you can see pi by 2 and minus pi by 2 get cancelled, minus into plus, minus h you will get, so which get cancelled. Now, you have got limit h tends to 0 tan h by h. Now, from the corollary which we have proved, that is limit theta tends to 0 tan theta by theta is always 1. We have proved in the previous session. So this is in the form of limit tan theta by theta as theta tends to 0. In the place of theta you have h here. So the value is equal to 1. Next question. Limit of the function sin pi minus x divided by pi into pi minus x as x tends to pi now. Now here also if you tend x tends to pi this will be of the form 0 by 0 again. So therefore here I am replacing x with pi plus h. Let x is equal to pi plus h. Now here as x tends to pi, if you put the value of x is equal to pi, h will become 0. Therefore, as x tends to pi, we get h tends to 0. Now replace the equation with h. The equation becomes limit h tends to 0 sin pi minus pi plus h whole divided by pi into pi minus pi plus h. Now evaluate this. We get limit h tends to 0 plus pi minus pi get cancels. We will get sine of minus h here. And in the denominator, so we have pi 
and again pi minus pi get cancels we will get minus h here sin of minus h is minus sin h so limit as h tends to 0 minus sin h divided by minus pi h minus minus get cancels this is in the form of sin theta by theta that is limit sin theta by theta as a theta tends to 0 value is always equal to 1. Now pi is constant you can take it outside it is 1 by pi limit h tends to 0 sin h by h whose value will be equal to 1 according to the theorem we have proved. So 1 by pi into 1 is equal to 1 by pi. So this is the limit point of the given function. Next question. So we have sin ax plus bx divided by ax plus sin bx. Now here we have sin ax. So if in the denominator it contains ax then it will be easy for the solution. So what I'll do here is limit x tends to 0. Here I have sin ax. For this I'll mul write ax here and I'll multiply a here. Next. I will divide by x here. Whole divided by here also I will divide by x and for this I will divide by bx into b. So here if you apply the limit separately x and x cancels, x and x cancel. This is of the form sin theta by theta. So that is ax into ax. So when theta tends to 0, that becomes 1. And here if you apply the limit for this also, this is equal to 1 since this is of the form sin theta by theta. So apply the limit separately now. So limit x tends to 0 sin ax by ax into a. a is constant and here b is constant whole divided by here limit x tends to 0 a is constant and this is of the form sin bx by b into b. So here if you apply the limit for this function the value will be equal to 1 and a is constant. If you apply the limit for b the value is b itself because it is a constant function. Similarly if you apply limit for this function it is a and for that it is 1 into b. So it is a plus b divided by a plus b whose value is equal to 1. So the limit value of the given function is 1. So question number 4. Limit 1 minus cos x by x as x tends to 0. So here in the place of 1 minus cos x I am using the sub multiple angle formula. So I have told in the chapter trigonometry 1 minus cos x can be written as 2 sin square x by 2. So therefore here I will replace the equation 1 minus cos x as 2 sin square x by 2. And in the denominator I have x. If I get sin theta by theta form then when I apply the limit as ten, theta tends to 0 the value will become 1. But here I have sin square x by 2 that is in the place of theta I have x by 2. So in the denominator also I should get x by 2. For that purpose I will divide by 2 and multiply by 2. When I divide like this 2 and 2 get cancels so I am left with limit as x tends to 0 sin square x by 2 I'll split it as sin x by 2 into sin x by 2 whole divided by x by 2. The first equation you can see in the form of limit sin theta by theta. So if you apply the limit for these two functions separately for the first function the value is 1 and for the second function it becomes sin 0 by 2. 0 by 2 is 0, sin 0 is 0, so it is 1 into 0 whose value is 0. So next we have question number 5, limit 1 minus cos 2x divided by sin square 2x. Since 
we have cos and sin, let us convert everything with sin. So 1 minus cos x means 2 sin square x by 2, simpler form of multiple angle is 1 minus 2x is 2 sin square x. So here I can convert this as limit x tends to 0, 2 sin square x divided by sin square 2x. Now here, limit x tends to 0, I will multiply 2 here, sin x into sin x, I will write separately, whole divided by sin square 2x, I will write it as sin 2x into sin 2x. Whatever the sin x, if you divide it by x only, then you can write in the form of sin theta by theta. So for th that purpose here, limit x tends to 0, here I will write 2, so whatever you multiply you should divide it, I will write sin x by x into x, again similarly I will write sin x by x into x, so when you cancel x you will get back to the same numerator value and in the denominator we have sin 2x, I will divide by 2x and multiply by 2x and similarly here also I have 2x divided by 2x multiplied by 2x. Now for sin x by x form that is sin 2x by 2x form which is in the form of sin theta by theta if you apply the limit for this function the value is 1. So you have 2x square in the numerator along with sin x by x into sin x by x and 2x into 2x which is 4x square in the denominator with sin 2x by 2x into sin 2x by 2x with limit value as x tends to 0. Here x square x square get cancelled, 2 ones are 2 twos are cancelled. So 1 by 2 is the constant remaining and if you apply the limit as x tends to 0 for each function the value is equal to 1. So it is 1 by 2, 1 into 1 divided by 1 into 1 whose value is 1 by 2. So this is the limit of the given function. So next question, limit as x tends to 0 cos 2x minus 1 cos x minus 1. We will apply the same multiple and sub multiple angle formula. We can write limit as x tends to 0 minus 2 sin square x divided by minus 2 sin square x by 2. So minus 2 minus 2 get cancelled. We have sin square here. We can separate it as sin x and sin x. Here we have sin x by 2 into sin x by 2. So separate limit x tends to 0. Here we have 2 sin. I will take sin x divide by x multiply by x. One more sin x multiply by x divide by x. Next we have sin square x by 2 so I can take sin x by 2 multiply by x by 2 divide by x by 2. Similarly one more sin x by 2 x by 2 multiply by x by 2. So limit as x tends to 0 we have x into x x square along with sin x by x two times. Next, in the denominator we have x by 2, x by 2 which becomes x square by 4 and here it is sin x by 2 by x by 2, sin x by 2 by x by 2. So x square x square get cancelled. So if you apply the limit for this function it is 1 and limit for this function is also 1. Here you have 1 by 4 into 1 into 1. So the value will be equal to 4 for the given function. Next question, limit as x tends to 0 tan x minus sin x by sin cube x. So here I will replace tan with sin by cos. So this becomes sin x by cos x minus sin x divided by sin cube x. First I will rearrange this. The equation becomes sin x minus 
sin x cos x divided by cos x can be written directly in the denominator cos x into sin cube x. So if you take sin x as a common factor in both numerator and denominator, you are left with limit x tends to 0. If you take sin x as common, so 1 minus cos x divided by again sin x common in the denominator, it is cos x into sin square x. Sin square x can be written as 1 minus cos square theta. So 1 minus cos x divided by cos x, which can be written as 1 plus cos x into 1 minus cos x. Because sin square x is 1 minus cos square x, 1 minus cos square x can be written as 1 plus cos x, 1 minus cos x, since it is in the form of a square minus b square. So here 1 minus cos x, 1 minus cos x cancels. So I am left with 1 divided by cos x into 1 plus cos x. Apply the limit as x tends to 0. It is 1 by cos 0, 1 plus cos 0, whose value equal to 1 into 1 plus 1, which is 1 by 2. So the limiting value of the given function is 1 by 2. So this is how we will solve the limits for the given trigonometric function. We'll meet you in the next session with the new concepts of limit and continuity. Until then, keep watching, keep learning and keep exploring. Thank you.